Growing up in Brooklyn, I was always um, a fan of good New York style pizza. Uh, regular slices, Sicilian slices, places like Da Vinci, Spumoni Gardens. I had a favorite in my Borough Park neighborhood, Gino's. And I, I always was um, someone who liked that kind of pizza. But it wasn't until um, the mid 90s that I discovered uh, Totono's in Coney Island and I um, began to gain an appreciation for more artisanal kind of pizza, I'll call it. I realized uh, while going on these pizza tours that uh, pizza, although it was challenging, was far more simple than, than cooking food in a restaurant where you have you know, 40 different dishes all cooked different ways. I saw that pizza was uh, pretty much, you chop everything up during the day, maybe you saute a few things, you know, if you, if you run the place properly. Um, and you put it in little pans and you take it out at night and put it on the dough and put it in the oven. It was a very simple process. And that emboldened me. It made me start to think that maybe that was something that I could do and, and that I could be recognized for and feel really good about. So that's what drew me to pizza. When I started looking in Brooklyn, I was really enamored with North Brooklyn, particularly Williamsburg. You know, uh, we left Brooklyn 29 years ago um, to live out in the country. And, and at the time we made that move, I felt that we were leaving Brooklyn behind to go on to bigger and better things. But more recently, as I came back to Brooklyn and started seeing some of the pizzerias who uh, were cropping up and all of the other restaurants that uh, were coming alive in this very vibrant food scene, I felt like Brooklyn was now leaving me behind and I wanted to do something about that. You know, in New York City, the greatest chefs in the world are here and I, I'd never, you know, I'd never make a dent in that. So. I started looking for, you know, on a, the, next, the next neighborhood, you know, that, what Williamsburg was gonna grow into. And I found Greenpoint. At first, uh, I was discouraged. I, w I just went on Manhattan Avenue, and I didn't see anything like Bedford Avenue on Manhattan Avenue. And, uh, but someone encouraged me to go back and look some more. And on Good Friday in 2009, I found Franklin Street and I was home.